share, because everybody needs this information. We all need this information. I have sisters, I have a mother and I have a daughter. My mother was married twice. She didn't have a lot of dudes. If you, if your, if your mama, let me tell y'all something. Let's start back with that, because you learn from what you see. If your mama had five men, and she's probably in her 70s now, that's cool, five men. If your mama had a bunch of men, a lot of times they, she gonna, they, they played it off back then as that's your uncle or her cousin, and it really wasn't. Ask grandma. Well, you might not can't ask grandma no more if your mama in her 70s. But my whole point is, At one point in time, women were teaching their daughters by example and also by telling them. Kids learn what they see. A lot of these young girls don't even want to learn just as well a lot of these young boys don't want to learn. A number of young men were not taught how to speak to women. They weren't taught how to speak to women. They just, like I was told, man, you better go out there and get your girl. Better go out there and get your girl. And I come from the 70s. They didn't, want, they didn't want you to go out there and get your boy. They want you to go get your girl, but they never told us how to talk to him. I was kind of blessed, and it's going to sound crazy, but I was around some hustlers and some pimps, and I watched them. But then, as I got older, I put my own stuff in it. And that was part of the reason why I was with a lot of lousy chicks in my life. And don't get it wrong, I'd have had some great, amazing women. And I had to end up with one. But it wasn't easy. And a lot of things in a young man's mind is just sexual. Sexual, man. She got a bad ass. I'm going to hit that. She got a beautiful face. I'm going to hit that. It's crazy with us, but I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm being transparent. But women, a woman can have a mother that's been in different relationships and her mama was picking the same wrong dude, too. Mama had been in a, a number of relationships where a man was jumping on her, putting his hands on her. The daughter didn't like it, but pretty soon she felt that that's what love was. And then she'd get with somebody. I was in a relationship with a woman one time. It was real cool and calm. But then when the arguments come, she wanted to press and press and press and go to a point where, you know, I looked at her and because she told me before that the dude she was with, the last dude jumped on her. And the dude before that, I said, you like niggas to beat you up. I'm not into that. I'm not into beating you up. I'm not into kicking off. I'm not into all these arguments. She told me I was weak. I was like, look, <clears throat> if you'd have met me at first and told me you like to get beat on, and that's what you was into, I would have been like, okay, well, this is new. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> but I went in it. I ain't into beating on women, man. And I'm talking about that beating on a woman because there ain't no salt in the house. That's, it's crazy. However, back to the point. Ladies, hold yourself accountable for you. I respect it now when a woman is <clears throat> not in a relationship and, 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 and you meet her and you say, hey, let's get together. Let's go. You know, I'm, I'm working on myself. Work on yourself to a point of you working on you, really. Not working on the stuff around you. Work on you. Some of y'all women don't even understand y'all be liking dudes that don't like y'all. And the dudes that like you is the ones that you should be with. But y'all love to put them in the friend zone. How you gonna friend zone your future? Now this dude done heard about all of these stupid relationships that you done let happen to you. And now he don't even want you no more. The friend zone, he done got out of the friend zone and became a friend and also a person that's judgment because he know you stupid because you make stupid decisions. I'm just talk to y'all as a big brother, ladies. Don't get offended. I'm keeping it real with y'all. Keeping it raw with y'all. I hate the stuff that y'all going through and letting, letting happen to y'all. Let me see something. Okay. You get